Hey, I wanna give you a couple reminders when you find yourself comparing yourself to other people. I mean, how many of us we see, we get on social media and it's just like, wow, everybody has a better life than I do. They have a better relationship, they're better at fitness, they're better with their diet, blah, 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 right? It's pretty constant. And um, if we're on our devices a lot and we're on social media a lot, it's very easy and seductive to think that our situation is worse than whoever we're comparing ourselves to. And this is really normal. And I don't, I've, I haven't found a hack here that would have me just turn off the switch that I just never compare myself to people. I've heard people give advice like, yeah, stop comparing yourself to other people. And that advice is, you know, I get it. And it's simplistic because it's, I think, impossible. It's like, stop judging people. It's like, good luck. So we are going to compare ourselves. And when we do, what do we do? What can I do to get out of that trap as soon as possible? Because when I compare myself to other people, I'll go into a shame loop and just feel like bad about myself. I'll collapse and I'll be like, oh, they have it better or they're farther along or they're this, that, and the other, right? Not good for me. <laughs> I don't like my day ruined because I'm choosing to compare myself to someone else. I don't like that. So watch your choices. And uh, four words that I want you to adopt when you do this are, that's not my path. It's not your path, you know? It's just not your path. You have a different fingerprint, a different life, a different history, a different destiny, a different journey than that person. So it, it's not that useful for you to say, gosh, they have it better than me. It's apples and oranges. And if we really knew what was going on in their brain with their day and how they lack sleep or how hard they work or didn't work or the breaks they got or whatever, we would go, oh yeah, actually it's not that much better than mine. We would see that uh, if we traded places with them for a day, they suffer too. Um, they just might be demonstrating or presenting a certain caricature of how their life is, you know, on social media. So that's not my path. Just remind yourself of that, right? And then also remember the thing is about your values that is really important that my mentor taught me many years ago, which is they have different values and they have a different um orientation around those values and a different inspiration or motivation than you do. So comparing yourself to someone with a lot more money than you is usually futile because that person probably either inherited a bunch of money or they studied their ass off and studied finances for decades and figured it out, figured something out. And maybe you haven't put in that same time. Same with fitness. You're comparing yourself to someone who looks more in shape or their diet is better or whatever, and you're like, oh, I'm so bad and they're so good and I'm less than them. Well, chances are they had some good genes. They, on top of that, they busted their ass. They made this the most important thing in their life and they decided to put all their time and energy and heart into fitness, health, etc. And you didn't. So why would you compare yourself to a triathlete when you've never trained for one? It doesn't make sense, right? Uh, same with relationships. I have spent decades now training myself to be better in relationship. You maybe not have invested, you haven't invested hundreds of thousands of dollars like I have in this part of my life, right? And so you might think, oh, I'm less than Jason. Well, I might be able to do the exact same thing with you if you have more money than me or if you're more fit than me or if you, whatever, have a better situation than me in some area of life, I might feel less than you because you've put in all this work and I haven't, right? So we have to watch and just get very honest um, where we're at and how much we've studied the thing that we're comparing to, the, we're comparing ourselves to, you know, in that, in that person. So try to get very specific. What is it that I'm comparing? And then finally set goals. Am I willing to change this part of my life and invest time, money, and energy and resources so that I can become more and more empowered? Not to spite that person or not to pass them, just for myself, my own well-being, my own mental health, because I, this area of my life matters and I'm in pain here. So can I do that? Um, yeah, so those are a few reminders. Leave a comment if this was helpful and um, talk soon.